Okay, so today's the day when we're going to introduce for the first time the new Dawn pull-type strip till toolbar. And I'm going to highlight a couple of the features for you. This is a pull-type front folding toolbar that'll be available in a 16 row 30, 24 row 30, or 24 row 22 configuration eventually. To begin with, we'll, we'll really focus on the 1630 and the 2430. It integrates a nine ton fertilizer hopper on the frame, which is really cool because we've taken a lot of care with this design in order to manage the center of gravity to prevent a negative tongue weight condition. So this is an extremely balanced toolbar. Only the slightest, maybe 100, 200 pounds of negative tongue weight. And when you look at the way that this whole axle has been designed, it's designed around packaging the fertilizer, empowering you to build out this large nine ton fertilizer system, okay? But we have a wider stainless steel hopper design than some of the other products on the market. This is using a Montag meter system, by the way, too. But this interesting axle and lift mechanism keeps all of that mechanism below the height of the frame and enables us to move that forward and repackage it uh, to keep a really nice balanced center of gravity on this bar, okay? So we'll just kind of walk around. Most of the people watching this video will already be familiar with the Pluribus 5 row unit that's been enjoying a lot of success this season. It's uh, the most advanced tillage device on the market today. It's a high speed strip tillage device with integrated uh, active down pressure control with the reflex down pressure system. You can adjust the depth, it has a sensor, it has uplift that enables you to counterbalance the weight of the row unit in very wet conditions. It has an integrated hydraulic row cleaner control. So most people will be familiar with that. Um, another really great thing about this toolbar is that a lot of care has been taken to integrate it hydraulically into a single control manifold. So with really just one large set of hoses connecting to the tractor, we're running the row unit down pressure, the row cleaner, the fertilizer system, all of the fold mechanism. Everything is happening through one centralized control manifold that's located back here. We'll just go around and we'll look at it. I think it's covered, but we'll take a look at it here. So you have one centralized uh, hydraulic control manifold right in the center that's managing all of the hydraulic functions on the toolbar, okay? And, and, and it just makes for a really clean, simple uh, installation. Now, while we're back here, care has been taken to nicely integrate the routing of the dry fertilizer hoses. Notice how these hoses come right out over the center line of the row unit coming straight down here, okay? So that's, uh, that's just one of those fit and finish things that, that matters a lot because people know how much um, just uh, screwing around can happen with the fertilizer hoses. Really importantly, this toolbar has integrated the adjustable wing weight transfer system, okay? And that, that's adjustable, allowing you to keep constant weight all the way across the frame. We've got lots of weight here, not much weight here. So we can evenly distribute the weight to the row units across the entire bar, all right? So every, all those details are built in here. The 16 row has one set of tires, the 24 row will add a second set of wheels. Another feature of imports people, We've got the integrated mount for your implement guidance system. A lot of people buying this toolbar will want to have some sort of uh, GPS receiver mounted on the implement. We've already thought of that. And that folds down, okay? So when you fill with fertilizer, you can fold that out of the way uh, if need be. Notice that bar right there protects the hopper from your auger when you're filling with fertilizer, making it easier to back the machine up when you're filling with dry fertilizer. Then I love this too, okay? Is that we've, we've thought about the details of how can we easily access the dry fertilizer system, okay? 
So you can climb up this catwalk, come right up here, and you've got really great access to look down at the fertilizer. Lots of safety, easy to get to. Okay. Um, now, the little details matter here, too. And, and anybody that's run a pleuribus striptal unit in the past knows that getting the right bar tilt is everything in terms of adjustment. Look at this little detail right here, how you've got an indicator that tells you a graduated uh, mark on the front um, cylinder for the tongue so that you can tell where you have it set. Okay, it uses a parallel linkage on the front tongue, just like most products on the market. You've got a locking mechanism right here that locks, locks the bar right here. Adjustable um, slider pads for the tongue telescoping tubes. I know what you're gonna say. There are people, different people want different wheel options. Okay, this axle assembly, very heavy duty axle assembly. It's built out in a way that you could put different tires on it. Okay, lots of different possibilities from a tire standpoint. So. We're extremely excited about this bar. Every little detail here. Oh, okay, you wanna you wanna empty out some dry fertilizer. Nice little um, channel to empty out the dry fertilizer system with. Let's go up here. Talk about a couple things. You've got a simple control box. Everything about this bar is simple. Simple, simple control box that lets you um, lock, unlock the tongue, open and close the wings, uh, turn the raise and lower the toolbar, and turn the wing down pressure on and off. Simple, simple control box, okay? So, so this toolbar is uh, going on sale right now. We're gonna take in or uh, we're gonna take um, uh, orders for fall. So if anybody has any uh, questions about it, reach out to us. Thanks a lot.